so mkdir command is nothing but uh, like it just stands for the make directory okay what by directory means like in linux we basically uh, call directory but in the other uh, operating system like windows what we call it as a folder so directory is something basically like a folder you can uh, like you can say like that okay directory is like a folder so now what i was talking about uh to create a directory so what we will do uh we will uh take uh like a, a structure to create a directory okay so let me draw a structure for you this is a website where you can easily like uh, draw any kind of structure or whatever you want okay I want to create a blank diagram. Great. Okay, save it anywhere. I don't care. Save. Oh, sorry. Test. Okay, here it is. Now, what we will do? Uh, we will create first a uh, university. Okay then uh, in that university we will create students okay and uh, then we will create faculties and then we will create uh you can call it as a workers okay and in the student section we will create uh like uh, we will name it uh, one of the student like ayush okay or uh, something like xyz okay and similarly in the faculties uh you want to give it as a, some kind of uh, instead of faculties i will try to give it a subject okay now here we will write linux networking okay and we will leave the workers as a blank okay so we will follow this pattern to create our directives so this will be helpful to like when you will play with it you will get a better idea like and also you will get a practice about the cd command that we have learned earlier in the last video okay so uh, how will we proceed i will try to just uh, off the screen i hope it should be visible to you okay yeah now it is visible and now what we will do uh, we will clear the screen and we will do just ls okay so here what we have we have just desktop downloads pictures snap and these things okay and i will try to hit just pwd pwd we are in where uh, we are in the home directory now what I will do, I will create a first university directory. Okay, so I will create mkdir and then I will write university. Okay, I have created university. Let's say ls. Okay, so here you can see uh, we have got the university directory. Now what I have to do in the university, I have to create this students directory subject and workers okay first what we will do we will create these directories one by one then after the after the whole this completion of the whole diagram sorry what we will do we will create these three directory like in a row okay in a single command we will do it okay so let's do it first single uh, single okay so i will first go into the university directory cd and then we will do ls there is nothing what I will do, I will create a student directory, students, okay, then I will create, uh, when you kill upper key, then you will get the previous command, okay, then I will create subject, then I will create workers, okay, so now I will do ls, so here you can see we have got the three directories, now what I have to do, I have to create a, a more directories in uh, students so here is one thing also I want to tell you about like here students in this uh, students uh, uh, you will see the s is capital but when I will try to hit uh, s with a small then what happens no such file directory why because this is a case sensitive in Linux it follows case sensitivity okay that's why it happens now what I will do C capital S then tap 
Uh, now tab. Okay, the students. Now where we are? We are in the students directory. When I will do pwd, what we will get? We'll get the exact location where we are. Okay. So now what we have to do? First of all, I want to clear this whole thing. Okay. Now what I will do? I will create two directors with name Ayush and with name uh, Ankit. Okay. LS Ayush Ankit has been created. Okay. Now what I will do, I have to go back in the subject directory. So how we can do it? We will do just cd dot dot. Remember in the last video we talked about this. cd dot dot. And here uh, now where I am, I am in the university. When I will do ls, I will have the access of subject and workers also. What I will do now, I will just do cd subject. Okay. And then again pw2, we, we are in the subject directory. Now what I have to do, I have to create two directors Linux and then networking okay now I'll do ls here you can see Linux and networking has been created and in the workers directory we don't have to write anything or we don't have to create any kind of folder in it okay so this is the basically like simple process of creating files and directors in the Linux and now I will tell you some like uh, uh, means uh, I will do like uh, creating these whole things in a single command okay not whole things but uh, yeah this one and this one I will try to create okay so what I will do uh, I will go in the home directory again clear now and I will show you here also like how in the file system it will look like whether it is there or not okay uh, yeah here you can see university directory is here in the university we have student subject workers and in the students we have Ayush and Ankit and back and in the subject we have Linux and networking and now what I will do I will just delete this directory okay uh, from here I can delete okay to delete the directories and all I will tell you this in the next video okay otherwise uh, everything will get mixed up okay so now uh, if I will do ls here so there is not, no university folder is there now what I will do I will just create a university folder uh, sorry university okay now university has been created I will move into this directory and now I have to do you know I have to create student subject workers so what I can do mkdir students okay space subject I think spelling mistake is there something okay yeah subject and then I will get workers boom now let's hit ls then you will get something yeah so here what we are doing in the same in the single command we are creating three directories or you can create multiple directories uh, it all depends on you how much you want to create okay and now what I have to do in the students we have to create Ayush and XYZ so how I will do mkdir in the students sorry sorry uh, okay sorry for it uh, I by mistake uh, entered this enter okay this is ls okay now what I have to do I will go in the students directory students okay now what I will do I will create again the both Ayush and Angit like before I use and get okay ls same okay so this is the uh, like one way to create multiple directories at uh, in a single command okay so I hope you got it how you can create uh, multiple directories okay I'm not going to show you for the subject like it will be then you will get bored like uh, I'm like displaying you same things again and again okay so now let me tell you something more interesting things okay I will clear and then go back into the home directory clear everything ls and now what I will do now I want to tell you some more concepts like uh, uh, the options which we can use with the uh, hyphen p command okay so the first option which I want to show you like hyphen v that stands for verbose so when we will do this mkdir hyphen v it will tell you the uh, like uh, whether directory has been created or not okay so let me let me create uh, like um, uh, 
what uh, anything Linux okay here you can see create a directory Linux again uh, let me tell you again I want to create same directory let's see what happens here you can see cannot create directory Linux file exist what if I remove hyphen B whether it's still displaying or not the same error okay it displays the same error okay so but uh, when we use hyphen V it will tell you the status like whether direct is created or not okay I hope it's clear hyphen V and in the next uh, uh, we will talk about hyphen P also what it does hyphen P uh, like when we suppose we want to create a directory in which like university in the university students and then in the student we want Ayush okay Ayush we want only okay so how we can do it uh, but uh, before uh, uh, that I will need to uh, sorry I will not delete that okay uh, let it be I will get some more uh, extra scenario like uh, uh, let's create uh, some kind of uh, like uh, um, Sun and with Sun let's create uh, here father and then we will create obviously grandfather okay or we can go reverse also like I think I have created in the re reverse motion should be in the last okay grandfather okay now what I will do mkdir hyphen p option and son slash father slash grandfather okay so basically this command what it will it will create the like uh, in the son directory you will get father in the father directory directory you will get the grandfather but uh, if you will not use hyphen p option then what will happen like we will not be able to create a directory like if son father does not exist then it will not create grandfather okay but if uh, like if it exists son father exists okay sorry I got a little bit confused here let me first of all create this one okay ls here should be son directory son ls father ls okay so what I was trying to say like when we will use hyphen p option if son father is not created then it will be get created automatically but when we will not use hyphen p then it will not get created like uh, let me go back and uh, now what I will do I will try to create mkdr test1 slash test2 slash test uh, three it should be like in test one there should be test two in test two there should be test three here you can see cannot create directory okay no such file or directory is there okay so I hope you got the like actual role of the hyphen p option okay now this is not a more uh, big deal if you want to if you play more and more with this command you will get familiar with uh, this whole Linux environment okay that's not a big deal now the next thing is uh, hyphen m option okay what it does this is nothing but mode okay mode or we can say permissions like uh, uh, till now we have not covered the permission section in Linux like it is uh, another concept and another another video will come up uh, on this concept like read write execute all these things but still I tell you like uh, if the if the person will have the read uh, read permission then that user can read the file if he has write then he can write the file or execute then he can execute that file but if the, he has all the three then he can do anything rewrite execute all okay so how we can do this mkdr hyphen m and we provide a equal to suppose we want to provide r w x all to the one directory that is test i hope test is not there yes this is created now what i have to do ls hyphen l you can see he has the permission of all these things and here you can see where it is test so r w x r w x r w x did that execute there is something like r w x for users and another this r w is for group and another this r w x is for other persons okay so when we will do test in this when we will go in this directory we can do any kind of operation mkd uh, sorry mkdir test uh, blah 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 okay we can do anything 
but now what I will do I will try to create uh, one directory with only read operations okay so let's see what happens whether we are able to create or not anything in that particular directory whether we have a permission or not so what I will do mkdir hyphen m a equal to I want to give just read operation we can only read read and I will create test 3 let's do ls hyphen l and now you can see in test 3 we have only read permission to everyone users also groups also and others i think others have not any permission okay here okay now i will go in the test 3 test 3 so here you can see permission denied we don't have access to that folder so now who can access this folder there is also one user in the Linux buddy root only root can access okay uh, so that's all about this in this video like uh, mkdr command so I hope you liked it and uh, please like share subscribe uh, our YouTube channel and now we will meet in the next video with another uh, basic command like uh, in the next video we will basically talk about the whole directory which we have created we will then again we will create some directory then we will delete it with the directory is empty then what how, what we can do if it is not empty then how we can delete it so these are all the things which we will cover in the next video so that's all for today and we will meet in the next one thank you thank you so much for watching